Hey guys, Willow here. I thought I would just bring you a cheek little commentary. Basically in this one I'm just going to like chat about the gameplay and why I do certain stuff and also like how to get a good score per minute and stuff. Also the reason why I fast forward bits like in my videos and stuff is because I can't try and make my videos like how I would want to watch them. And if there's boring parts I prefer if people just you know like fast forward and that's why I like fast forwarded this at the start. Anyways, using um, Galil Silenced with Hardline, Slater Pan Pro and Marathon. So I'm just going to have like, a little talk about why I use those perks. Basically, if you want to get a 100 plus kill game, you got to be getting your kill streaks like, as quick as possible. So I use Hardline, obviously, to decrease um, the amount of kills you have to get your kill streaks by one. So then I can get my Blackbird in and stuff like that. And as you've noticed, like, recently I decided Normally I would call my Blackbird in to get like my Chopper Gunner and dogs like definitely. But recently I've just um not been calling my Blackbird in until I died. No matter whether I get like Chopper Gunner or dogs. And it seems to help quite a lot because once you respawn and you call in your Blackbird you can just go out and get another Blackbird with seven kills. Um in this game basically I was playing with Jezza XD who's just like someone I met recently on Xbox Live and he's got like quite a good channel as well, it's really similar gameplay and stuff to mine so I'll be doing a dual com with him soon because I was playing um, I think it was two days ago now and got a 134, I got 134 to 6 gameplay so that was probably like my best gameplay for game, gameplay so far so should be able to upload that and it'll be good. Yeah in terms of like getting a good score per minute and stuff like that I'd say, Pete, I find a lot of people like camping to get the kill streaks, but I think it's much more important to get, you know, like, well, the way I play Call of Duty anyway, I play for fun and running around getting lots of kills, so if you want to get a good score per minute, I'd say just run around and um, even if you're not getting your kill streaks say, straight away with like practice and stuff, you learn like how to move around the map. I know that sounds really gay, but you just do. And then you'll be getting your kill streaks a lot easier and quicker than, say, if you're camping. Because another problem with camping is um, quite a nice streak here, actually, a little there. Another problem with camping is there's a lot of like revenge killers in Call of Duty. So if you stay in one place and kill someone, okay, great, you got your kill. But usually they'll just run straight back to that place because they're annoyed that you've been camping there. I'd say one of the other most important things about like Call of Duty is probably just knowing the spawns. Apart from gun accuracy, I'd say, that, I'd say that's like probably the most important thing. Because obviously when you've got a blackbird in the air and stuff like that, it'll help a lot. But without that, the only way you know where people are coming from or where they're all going to be is just by learning the spawns. Like, say in this map, there's one in, spawn in like the big radiation building and there's two in A and two at C. So if you just know where they're going to come from, then you'll always be prepared. The only other tips I can give you really are stuff like always aim round the corners when you think people are going to be there and if you're not that good yet say like I know this sounds really cocky but I rush through the middle and stuff to get a lot of kills quickly but if you're not that confident or anything I'd say stick to the outside the map because then you can only be killed from like inwards into the map yeah basically that's like all the main tips I can give you apart from maybe like with equipment I'd always use C4 just because it's so helpful when Say people up in buildings with claymores and stuff, you can just chuck a C4 up there and you know, get the kill. Anyway, that's enough about the gameplay. I thought I'd just have like a little talk about games I'm looking forward to that are coming out soon. I've been playing like a lot of FIFA 12 lately because that's just come out and normally I'd do a lot on the Ultimate Team of that, but I've been just been playing loads of head to head seasons and stuff. Um, yeah, I have to like hop on Koji every now and again to get a gameplay but otherwise I've not been playing it much. Also just wondering if you guys like want to comment how the Battlefield Bad 3, I mean Battlefield 3 um, beta is because I've not played that yet but I've watched some like videos on YouTube and it looks really good. Other games I'm looking forward to is probably like Skyrim which is coming out in November or something. I might do like a playthrough in that because I've played Oblivion and that was like one of my favourite games to complete that like three times or something. Obviously, Modern Warfare 3 and stuff are coming out, so looking forward to that. Anyway, just comment, like, what games you're looking forward to. 
Anyway, this is pretty much wrapping up the commentary now. And there will be like 134 to 6 gameplay on Jezza's channel soon, so I'll just link you to that, okay? See ya.